All right, for the second part of this experiment is, is that um, after we do our calculations, uh, we'll know the concentration of the sodium hydroxide that's in the barrette. Um, but right now, we're not going to worry about that because we can figure it out. But so what we know is we know the concentration of our, of our sodium hydroxide. Now what we're going to do is um, try to figure out the concentration of our vinegar, okay? So, uh, of the acetic acid in our vinegar. So, it's kind of going to be, it's going to be a very, very similar reaction. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to add the sodium hydroxide back into the barrette. Instead of weighing out 0.4 and 0.5 grams of, uh, of the... Uh, KHP, we're going to measure out uh, between four and five mils of, of vinegar, of commercial vinegar, and then um, not worry about the volume, but actually concentrate on um, its mass. Okay, and then do the same kind of experiment. So, so I, here I have uh, another 250 mil beaker and um, <clears throat> zero it <coughs> into a uh, so I have a graduated cylinder uh, 10 mil and I'm going to add about 5 mils to it uh, the vinegar that I'm going to use <coughs> is called distilled white vinegar Okay, and I got it to where it's uh, I don't care about the volume, okay. Uh, so the volume is around four point four, but what I want to do is get the mass of that. So I add that and the mass of number one. This is going to be 4.18 grams. Okay, so make sure you write that down. Okay. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about 50 mils of water to it, just like. Okay. And that's number one. See number two, do the same thing. And this one is 3.87. Okay, so write that one down too. All right, and I'm gonna add about 50 mils of water. All right, okay. Uh, I'm going to fill up my barrette again up with uh, sodium hydroxide. Just both. All right, the amount of sodium hydroxide here is 0 0.30. Okay, so that's how much we're going to start out with, 0 0.30. Make sure you write that down. Okay. 
add the KH, I mean the phenylphthalein to my acetic acid. Three drops. Okay, now I should look that same thing over here that we just did. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding the sodium hydroxide again until it turns pink. Now I don't know how much I'm gonna have to add, so I'm gonna So far, there's not a lot of pink here, and I'm at 15. As far as adding the phenylphthalein, it doesn't really matter how much you add. You can add two, three, four, five drops. Um, Hopefully it's going to change soon. It's not going to worry me. Okay. We're going to have a problem here. All right. Um... I need to add more sodium hydroxide, so I'm going to let it go down to 50. And then uh, I got to make sure I I can stop now if I want to buy my. I should go. So it hasn't turned pink. Okay, it's at 50. All right. Okay, so what I got to do is I add more sodium hydroxide. Now, I'm not going to add it all the way to the top here. Um, okay, starting value is... Thirty-one point nine one. Okay. So pay attention to what's going on here. Should have made a higher concentration of the sodium hydroxide. It looks like. I don't want to do this again. Okay, I think we're there. I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna have to add maybe another drop or two. Oops. All right, now record that value, and that value is uh, 46.99. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go do the next one. Okay, and so make sure you got all those values. And we'll talk about them when we talk about the results. Okay, next one is the second sample. Fill up the barrette, 
sodium hydroxide. So if you think about what we just did, uh, so we added about 50, and then we had to add about 20 more. So we added a total of about 70. Um, so we're going to have to do the same here. We're going to probably, hope, I mean, hopefully it is. It's going to be about 70 mils, so I'm going to have to a double, double fill again. Um, Okay, so my starting volume is uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.50. All right, got my acid going at three. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna start adding my base. Okay. Right now, just just notice the, the experimental technique. We'll go over the ex, the results and calculations separately. So this should, should almost go all. I'm just hope. I mean, if there's anything like the last one, hopefully it will. I'll have, let it go down to 50. Okay. So when it gets to 50, right here, I'll turn it off, and now I'll add some more. You hope your results are reproducible. Are pretty close. So hopefully we'll. The same kind of thing we did before. So I'll let it go down to 50, should right there. And I'll show you that's not turn pink yet. Okay, 50. Okay, so there's, it's at 50, and it hasn't turned pink yet. Okay, so I'm going to add about 30 more of my base. So fill up, the iron up. The Okay, this starting point is 17.50. Okay. And the reason we're, we're doing two samples of the same one so we can get an average. Okay, it's almost there. Turn it off. Okay, you can see that it turned pink. I'm gonna stir it up really good, make sure it stays pink. And record value now it's uh it's good thirty point six five okay so there's our final result okay so uh uh what you want to do is you want to have um your initial volumes of for the two experiments the first experiment you're gonna want to have the mass of your kids um, so there were two experiments for part part one, and you're going to, going to average the two. So you, for um, each one, you're going to have a mass of your KHP, an initial volume, and a final volume of your sodium hydroxide. Okay, and what you're going to do is take the difference between the initial and final, 
and that would be how much volume you added to the KHP to neutralize it. And then you're going to, and then you're going to do that for the second one as well. And then, um, and then what we're going to do is just that we will. Uh, you're going to use. I'll not show you how to do this, uh, but you're going to use those two. You you don't combine those two values yet. You're going to find the values individually of those two, and then combine them to come up with an average. Okay, that's part A. For part B, finding out the concentration of the acid, uh, you will have mass of your vinegar. So there's two experiments. Well, actually, the first experiment you had three. One, two, and three. So the second one you had two. Again, you had the mass of your acid. And then you had initial uh, NOH. And then 50. And then initial and then endpoint. You're going to add it, have to add up those total amount of volumes to figure it out. And you have two of them, and we'll show you how it works. So I'll go over uh, how to set up the, um, the table. I'll probably do this on a PowerPoint for you. Okay, so that's the end of this. this and uh, okay.